we're talking about summer travel and you know, we can't get anywhere and then you're thinking, oh great, and now we have to deal with these temperatures, right? And this isn't even the worst it's going to be. We've got some spots in the upper 80s right now. McKinney is at 89 along with Gainesville. Sherman sitting at 88 degrees. Bonham at 87. Of course, we've got more clouds the farther north and east you are because we had that little complex of storms roll through earlier. A lot of spots for the Metroplex to the north and to the west still sitting in the low to mid 90s right now, but you've got this stalled boundary here. And it's really interesting. This is something that we talked about yesterday, right? We got to watch this, these pulses of energy moving from Oklahoma farther off to the east, southeast, and you get them to clip our northeastern counties. So we saw a few stronger storms from Paris to Bonham to Sulphur Springs earlier today. Now we've got the lingering cloud cover, and that complex kind of pushed that boundary into North Texas. So now with the rain chances for tomorrow, I actually think there's a slight chance that maybe areas in Collin County, Denton County, a little bit of Dallas County seeing some isolated showers kind of mid-morning to mid-afternoon tomorrow, maybe even some isolated storms along the Red River as well. But this coverage is only at 20%, so don't get too excited. I know there's a little more green on this map, but I really don't think a ton of us are going to see rain. It's really going to be more the heat and humidity, the big story, but we got to kind of give you the heads up, right? So looking at future cast into tonight, we've got a lot of cl uh, clear skies through about 10 o'clock, and then you start to see some clouds moving in from the south and to the west. Now, here we go by 6 a.m. You've got partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, and then we watch the pulses of energy, that energy moving in from Oklahoma. So we've got some showers along our Red River counties as we get towards 10 a.m., and then you see Bonham, McKinney, Greenville, Sulphur Springs, Paris, maybe seeing some isolated storms, and then we watch that, watch that boundary kind of push into North Texas yet again. So maybe even a few sprinkles by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon in parts of Denton and Collin County as well. So that's where the 20% rain coverage is coming into play. I still think it gets hot and humid. We've got temperatures topping out around 94 degrees at DFW, uh, but it is going to be feeling like the mid and upper 90s thanks to the humidity. And uh, by Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, feeling like the low 100s, and we've actually got a couple of low 100s on that seven day as well. So again, Wednesday and Thursday morning, we watch for those isolated storm chances, especially along the Red River. By Friday, we just turn the heat up. 101 on Friday, 99 on Saturday, 101 Sunday, 102 on Monday, 100 degrees on Tuesday. Stop it, it already. No, what? <laughs> it's only early June.